I'm Asha DePue, an event manager for the National Cherry Blossom Festival. Petal Palooza would have concluded our springtime celebration this year. This is an all-day, fun-filled event with art, music, and fireworks. Since we all can't be together for the event, we thought we'd provide some art and craft activities that you can do at home to celebrate and end with a bang. Thank you to all of our sponsors of this event, especially our presenting sponsor, Chase. We have two firework art activities to choose from. For one geared more towards younger children, but fun for all, please click the Shaving Cream Fireworks video. Now let's learn how to make fireworks salt art. Salt art painting is for kids of all ages and a fun way to add texture and color to a project. It is one of the most inexpensive crafts to make with kids and it uses supplies that you probably already have around the house. Step one, collect supplies. You'll need salt, black paper, watercolor paints, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. Next, draw firework shapes with white glue on black paper. While the glue is still wet, pour salt liberally all over the design. Pick up the paper and let excess salt fall onto a cookie sheet or paper plate. Don't worry about letting the glue dry. You can color the salt while it is still wet. Step four, paint the fireworks. Dip your brush in watercolor paints and dab the paint onto the salt. Do not brush the paint across the salt or it will wipe it away. Just drip the paint over the salt. You could even use a tiny syringe to apply the paint. Step five, keep dabbing to cover all salt. It will bleed and create beautiful swirls and blends of color. Let it dry completely before picking the image up. Once dry, you can apply a light layer of hairspray to help keep the salt from flaking off easily, but either way the colors will fade a bit after a day or so. These images typically last about a week before the salt begins to flake off. These aren't forever pictures, but kids will have fun creating them, and I hope you will too. You can use these same steps and your newly developed skills to create any kind of design. Hope you have a blast!